Hi folks, I'm down the stairs again today and we're on the K40 Chinese laser. I'm actually doing a, a favour for someone. And I'll show you just in a second. Get this started up here. Now, one of the problems is, when you buy a K40 laser, what you do is, you can then get it all set up, and uh, start it up, and then you're standing there for 40 minutes, watching this thing going up and down. So, I've since learned, if I'm going to do a project on this machine, get another project going at the same time. Because I don't like leaving this unattended and it takes a good while. Right, there we go. The file's up and what we have in. Try and zoom in a wee bit. Can't see that. Well, that's not too good, but anyway, we shall go on it. And we're on cutting 10 millimeters a second. Start and up. Just keep your hand on the off, on off switch. Right, there she goes. So it's just letters that I'm cutting out. Uh, and I have made an archway. So these letters on the archway. Jobs are good. Oh no! My O's fell out. Oh, that's a goner. You can search for that. So, anyway, let's put you back over here. The other job we're going to do is a wee bit of lifting bug. Figures. So I've got cut myself a nice piece of wood. It's an old scrap piece of wood. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it was from. But it's a rectangle now. So I throw it down the grits. What's this? I'm just going to use a 240. Get it as smooth as I possibly can get it. So as I don't need to do much after I do the lifting there. So that's pretty much smooth at that. I've prepared it all up. Mm, nice. Right, so what have I got? Borax substitute. Uh, one pound nineteen. And some water. Uh, a, a goodly amount. What's a goodly amount? A good line line is what you think you need, plus a wee bit extra. So here we go, we'll try this. I don't know if this is going to work, I don't know what the grain is going to do here. Well, it might just follow the grain, rather than spread. Want a nice, probably a two-tier effect meeting up in the middle somewhere. Would be perfect. So let's go. Covered. Yeah, a lot of it's soaking into the wood, and that's what we want. We want a bit of depth to the lifting depth figures because we're going to fill it with resin, as you've seen a million times. This is a most enjoyable, very, very dangerous. Don't do it. If you want my advice, don't do it. But once you get 
to doing it. It's slightly addictive. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Right, my machine. Uh, I'll take you in and show you. Because it's so dangerous, I've made a box for mine and a switch. So that I don't have to touch uh, the electrodes. I've also put the electrodes onto a block with a weight on top. So that I can just put them down, set it up and leave it both ends. So we'll go for that. There's my other block. Put these two down and I will give it an extra V. <coughs> because this is all soaked in, I'll give it some more. Just to help it out. Now I'm hoping that this works well because I'm going to stain the wood. Maybe I should have stained it first. Hold on. As I say, this is just a job to do while I'm doing the lasering. Right. Let's see how that goes. Right, plug her in. I hate preaching about safety and things like this, but with this stuff, you make a mistake, that's you, gone. It's one of the more dangerous things that I've ever seen or, or I've ever attempted myself. So it's up to you. But if you want my advice, don't do it. Okay, so here we go. Just check the camera's on. Camera's on. In the middle, in the middle, God. in the middle, perfect. Right, here we go. Plug in, switch. This one's spread now, it's more flowery. This one's quite deep. This one. This is beautiful. And I've got my hand on the switch all the time here. Just in case. That's smoky, but there you go. That one, hopefully it'll slow down a bit. That's the base of it. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is try it off a bit. I'll try and direct it across. Dead space. Oh. Okay, there we go. That slowed that right down. So it was just following the, uh, the grain. Yeah, that's much better. Come on, baby. I said. Nice. 
Come to comes. Let's have a look at that. Pretty straight, pretty boring and down here. Then we start the, the flowering out, which is nice, couple of separate branching. That's where we got to, and the other side, yeah, that's really nice. I love that side. Plenty of lovely fractals. Nice! Ta da! That means what? The machine has done its do da. Now, it doesn't cut right through first time, so we have to give it a second. A second turn. show you the other letters that I've already cut out in a second. Okay so here's the letters, uh, a couple of passes, I should just pop out. It all depends on what the uh, thickness of material is, this is uh, very thin in the air. how thin it is. Don't know how thin it is, but it's that thin. Let's pop these out. Now, these aren't the first set that I did. I did these, but they're too big. They won't, they won't fit on the arts that I built. Idiot. That's the beauty with a, a laser cutter. You just change the file on the computer and hit go again. So easy, so simple. So, I'll get a wee game of Scrabble with myself and I'll come back when I'm doing the lifting jobs. So, I've taken the Lichtenberg upstairs under the, under the tap and have at it with one of them stiff bristled brush and you need to give it some to get into all the get rid of all the carbon the better you do that the deeper it is and the more able it's, it is to accept the resin I'll try and get you a good look at that so you see the depth in that That's quite good, that will accept the resin, no problem. Only problem being, is it's soaking now. So I'm going to get the heat gun out and we'll dry it off, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here's the piece all dried off. Still warm, feels like it's just out of the oven. Mm -mm. Now here's a wee tip for you. If you ain't getting the finish that you're looking for on any wood pieces, when you're working with it, what happens is that the top layer of grain gets flattened and as soon as you introduce any moisture it, it rises up. So if you, you can sand down any bit of wood to whatever grit your favourite flavour of sandpaper is, 240 I, I uh, took that down to and it will feel flat as you like. As soon as you put your finish on it, the grain rises and you won't get the finish you look for. So, I'm now just going to hit this with some 400, very lightly, because I don't want to take away too much of the fractals. So, and that should solve, well, with me washing it out, it's raised the grain, now I can just take it off with this, very lightly.
Yeah, so. Very nice. So that's that basically finished. So what we're going to do now is we'll get the the resin out and we'll get some colour out. No we won't. I need to stain it. Right, I need to make a decision on what how I'm gonna stain it, what I'm gonna do. I did Put together some vinegar and steel wool which produces a chemical don't know what you call it but uh, you put that on that, that gives a, a, a nice dark stain but I should have done this last week a couple of days ago no way that's running with any so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use tea bags back in a minute okay well done, so I'm upstairs, got all tea bags. Uh, there's about six or seven in there. A wee drop of hot water and just soak them through. Don't know if this how this is going to work, but we'll try it. We've got to try these things. Also made myself a cup of tea. Got to be good to yourself. And I'm really good to myself. So I crashed out the biscuits. See these things? Party rings. <sighs> My downfall. Okay. Let's have a go. That's not too bad. Or is it? Is it just because it's wet? I think it's giving it something. Right, we'll dry that, see what that looks like. So this is me after one coat of the tea bags. I think you'll find it's brought the colour from that really nicely dark no I'm only kidding on don't use the tea bags tea bags are rubbish I went for this for the reason that it's been lying about in this workshop I think this has been in the house longer than either of my children have don't know where I got it but I must have bought it out of shop because I don't think the internet was born then so that was one coating and that's brought that right down nicely like that it's going to shine up lovely so what we're going to do now is I've got clear polyester resin two part this is a catalyst and I've also got various colours of dye deep sea blue Emerald green, I like that. Mint green. Baltic amber, right you get the idea, blue. Or a blue, red. Magenta, and neon pink. I'm thinking green. 
But now that I've had a cup of tea and 10 minutes to think about this, the project, I think I might cut this. Get that away, because then that brings this to the centre. It's just over 9. So 18 and a bit would be there. That seems to even it up a bit better. I think that's what I'll do. I'll cut that off. But should I pour the resin first, then cut it off? Yeah, because if I cut it off, I'll need to tape it, otherwise it'll fall up, out. Whereas here it's just a well. Okay, so we'll get set up for the resin and we'll do a pour. Okay, so resin, hardener, pigment, cup cup, steady stuff. There we go. I'm going to do two because I'm not sure of the colour that I want. There we go. Now I have done another one off camera just to take the extra from. Uh, what am I going to use? Mint green or emerald green? I'm thinking the brightest. That would break, break electricity. A couple of drops of this. We'll see how that goes. It's very strong this pigment and I'm not using a lot. Of resin. Hmm. But darker maybe. There we go. That's four drops all together. I think we'll go for that and we'll try this emerald green. Four drops, right we'll try two first. Oh That's a drop. Okay. Another couple, I think. I like this one. 
So we'll go for that. After all, that's my project. Oh, what did I do that for? Wrong colour. It's the wrong colour, grommet. Right, hardener. We have got scraper. Pour, pour, pour. Scrape, scrape, scrape. So this is 2%. So whatever that is, 2% here. Yeah. Right, that's exactly 2%. Need to mix it well. Keep mixing, get every single bit, scrape sides. Because if this stuff doesn't set, what a mess to have to deal with. And what I'm going to do. is I'm going to get another cup and I'm going to pour it from a height to try and get rid of the bubbles. I'll lessen the bubbles. One minute. I don't have a pressure pot or anything like that so figure out other ways man okay so I'm pulling it from a height hopefully that'll take a good deal of the bubbles out I'm gonna go over it with a, with a heat gun so able to see that but bubble 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 right okay here we go super mixed up everything's in it Oops. Hmm. Don't like it. I don't like it. sort this out and I'll be back. Right, I think you can tell as soon as I poured that I didn't like it. I need bright. The problem was that I used pigment rather than paint because you can always see through the pigment. But I just need uh, brightness. So what I've did, glow in the dark, bright green. <laughs> Anyway, glow in the dark and look, I poured it into that second batch that I made. That's what I'm looking for. Dark wood, bright fractals. So we'll give this a try. This looks much better. So remember 2%. There you go, 2%. Exactly. To the nearest foot pounds. Right, star, 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 star. Make sure every bit of it's 
stopped in well, no streaks, anything like that. It's gonna be good. One second. should be poured properly, pour it from a head, don't miss, oh I feel a lump there, That'll do, yeah. Right, take two. It's looking better. I always pour on too much. Always. Okay, this one. Okay. Scrapey, scrape, scrape. Let's make sure that all goes into the fractals. Yeah, I'm glad I changed my mind. Shut up, dog. Oh, uh. I should really pull this as well, shouldn't I? No messing about with this one. Try and be tidy here, but oh. all right, I like it. I like it a lot.
Okay. Sand, sand, sand. Finish, finish. I'm going to uh, go over it with clear uh, resin as a finish. Very nice. Yeah, up we go. Right. Well, these have to sit. Probably come back tomorrow. Well, I will be back tomorrow. It's Sunday. I'm always in here on Sunday. Well, double doer. Okay, so I guess there'll be a part two to this video. Uh, don't know my laser cutting, all my letters that I need. Don't know where to do spares. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go for that. So Part 2 of the video will be finishing this up and I'll show you the rest of this sign. Look at all the plastic I've used. That's not good. Not good. I'll have to work out something else because that's too much plastic and resin. Too much waste. Anywho, here's the part 2 and thank you for watching. <laughs>